Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today I have a very exciting video for you. Like literally, I am so, so, so excited to film this video. I mean, I have already like filmed all the makeup. Obviously it's on my face, but I'm still excited to share it with you. I am filming a video duping the Rose Gold Huda Beauty palette. This palette is 56 pound, I think. I think, don't quote me on that, but it'll be on the thumbnail and I'll leave all the information down below. I think this is £56 and I'm pretty sure that it's limited edition now because once it's gone, it's gone and it's not been brought back. Rumour has it on Insta that this is not being released again if once it's gone, it's not coming back. However, this palette is not mine. Uh, this is my friend's palette. I've not got enough money to be buying a palette for £56. So I was so happy when... Oh, that was like angels were shining down on that and stuff. Makeup Revolution... Um, on their iHeart makeup range released the chocolate rose gold palette. Wait till you see the inside of this. Look how similar this looks. Oh my god! How similar is this? Today I am testing out whether the chocolate rose gold palette is a dupe of the Huda Beauty rose gold palette. I am so excited. So one of my eyes has one of the palettes and the other eye has another of the palettes. So I'm going to close my eyes, let you guess down below. Pause the video if you don't want me to tell you. Well actually I'm not going to tell you yet. I'll tell you when we get into the tutorial. But yeah, I am really excited. As you can tell, I think you can tell already that I think these are definitely a dupe. So yeah, let's get into swatches of some colours and I'll let you know about what I think about the shades and then we'll jump into a tutorial and then we'll do my final thoughts. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette here. As you can see, it doesn't have a mirror. The front bit just lifts up and this is like a magnetised cardboard packaging. It comes with 18 shades which are a mixture between foiled eyeshadows, mattes and shimmers and there are a gorgeous mix of shades in this. This is the Chocolate Rose Gold palette which is absolutely stunning. This this is by far my favourite design that they've done, um, like this colour here. Just like all the other chocolate bar palettes, the lid just lifts up and there's a huge big mirror here at the top and it comes in this typical setup with like the big colour here and the big shade here. This one comes with 16 shades which are grey and again a range of shimmers, mattes and those foiled eyeshadows just up the top there, just like the Huda Beauty palette. This is Huda Beauty's shade Dubai. And this is Makeup Revolution shade, which is called Touch Me. As you can see, both very, very similar in pigment and in colours. It's like a gorgeous kind of greeny metallic brown shade. This is Huda Beauty's Fling. And this is Makeup Revolution's Dirty Rich. The pigmentation of Fling, though, by Huda Beauty is absolutely shocking. It is amazing. But again, I don't think that there's much difference. It looks really, really good and very oh my god such a beautiful colour. This is Huda Beauty's 24 Carat and this is Hard Work by Makeup Revolution. These ones are slightly different shades, hopefully you can see the Huda Beauty is a little bit more gold and this one's a little bit more yellow by Makeup Revolution. With the foils, I think the difference is that the Huda Beauty ones are a little bit more smoother to the touch and a bit more pressed and the Makeup Revolution ones are a bit more flaky. Like I think you need to build these up a little bit more but I don't mind that when you're paying such cheap prices for them. This is Not Yours by Makeup Revolution and this is Flamingo by Huda Beauty. As you can see, again, very similar colours. I think they, these colours both need built up. They're a little bit more patchy, but they're very similar. This is Coco by Huda Beauty and this is Trust Fund by Makeup Revolution. I could probably find a better dupe for that one. Uh, I mean this one. This is Backup by Makeup Revolution. That's probably a better match for that one by Huda Beauty. It looks a little bit more darker where this brown's a bit more warm toned. This is Blessed by Huda Beauty and this is, hash, sorry, hashtag Blessed and that's Sidekick. That is amazing. Makeup Revolution one's a little bit more pigmented I think. Look how foiled those are. Oh, I love them so much. Sorry, Gold Digger. Sorry, that's what that one's called, Gold Digger. I mean, matte shades always swatch like a uh, kind of rough like this. Like, they don't look pigmented but that's because they never go on pigmented with your finger, you have to use a brush, whereas these kind of foiled shades, those need a finger to do them, like those need a finger to apply them. This is sounding so dirty, but I hope you guys know what I'm saying. So yeah, those are the swatches, and now let's get into the little tutorial. 
So I'm going to start off with the shade B in the Huda Beauty palette. And this shade here in the Makeup Revolution one, I'm not sure what it's called because I've lost that little slip that goes across the front of the palette already. <laughs> so I'm doing this side, the Makeup Revolution one. Did you guess right? If you did, let me know down below. I'm just taking the shade all over the eyelid just to kind of set my um, eyeshadow base into place. And although I'm using the same brushes, I am going to be cleaning them off in between each eye just so that there's no kind of cross contamination between the shades. This cream is much more pigmented than the Makeup Revolution one. It's a lot more powdery too. It's kind of flying everywhere. That'll just be a nice base so that our eyeshadows can blend quite easily. Now I'm going to go into the colour Suede in the Huda Beauty palette. And this is a corresponding shade in the Makeup Revolution one. It looks like a grey but when it's swatched it comes out like a nice kind of chocolatey brown colour. So I'm just applying that through the crease and just upwards towards the brow bone. Not sure what look I'm going for today, but I think I want to use like that yellowy gold um, foiled shadow because that looks absolutely beautiful. I might actually pop the pink through my crease because that might be good. This shade um, blends out quite nicely, a little bit patchy if you don't have enough product on, but it's blending out very nice. Wow, I can't believe how similar these colours are. If I had seen that shade in the palette, I would have definitely thought it was a grey. It's so cool how both of these colours come out to be kind of like a browny shade on the eye. I think this one's quite similar in the fact that it blends out really nice, but if you don't have enough product on, it can go a bit patchy. Looking at the Huda Beauty side, this one might be slightly darker and more pigmented, but I don't know if that's because I've put a little bit extra on the brush or what not, but let us just kind of even it out. Yeah, I think this one is maybe a little bit more grey toned brown and this one's a bit more chocolatey brown. But it doesn't actually come off that much, I can just see it in person. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to pick that up on the camera. Right, I think I'm just going to do it, I'm going to go in with the shade Flamingo. This is Flamingo in the Huda Beauty palette. This is a corresponding shade in the Makeup Revolution one. It's a beautiful hot Barbie pink. This is a matte pink shade, so we're just going to pop this through the crease using the same brush and blend that into the brownie colour. Oh, this is nice. Wow, it's very pigmented. It's quite hard, I think, to make a pink that's really pigmented. Like, darker pinks are fine, pinky reds, you know what I mean? But, like, an actual nice hot pink that isn't too bright on the eye, I think that's quite hard to do, so... Well done, Makeup Revolution. Well done. I'm just going to take it down onto the outer V of the eye as well. So I really like that colour, it's lovely. Now for the Huda Beauty side. I feel like I'm a pro now at doing one eye one and one eye the another. I've done a couple of videos like this now. Um, and at first it was so difficult to remember what side was what, but I'm totally getting better at it now. Let me know if you've seen any of the other videos that I've posted. Um, and if you haven't, I'll leave them linked in the description box below. Also, I forgot to mention, please excuse this on my lip and on my nose. And my face is so red because I've not long come out of the bath and it takes ages for the redness of my face to go down after a hot bath. But I'm not sure what this is on my lip and my nose. I've had it for a while and I thought it was a spot but it never went away and I tried to pop it last night. I know that that's bad but I'm so fed up of it. I've had it for weeks and it's not went away. I tried to pop it and nothing came out and it just like filled up with blood. So I need to go to the doctors I think because I don't think that's very healthy at all. It's probably TMI but I mean like if any of you guys that are watching have had that, have you ever had like a little bump that you thought was a spot and you've tried to pop it and it's filled up with blood? Because I'm actually quite worried about it. I don't know what it is but I'll let you guys know once I've been to the doctor. Uh, but yeah, if any of you have had that please let me know what it was. Okay, so far so good with the Huda Beauty colour as well. I mean, I'm not seeing much difference here. I feel like I'm using the exact same palette for both of my eyes, which is really, really good. Considering how cheap the Makeup Revolution one is. I'm going to go in now with Man Eater, which is this gorgeous reddish pink colour. And this is the dupe in the Makeup Revolution palette. Just taking that on one of these little eyeshadow brushes and popping that into the outer V. Just on top of the pink, just to deepen up that outer V a little bit. So I don't want to put any like dark brown or anything, but I just want it a little bit deeper. And then I'm just going to blend that out. I 
feel like the red on the Huda Beauty side isn't as pigmented as the one on the Makeup Revolution side. Right, time for the main event, I think. I'm going to use 24K in the Huda Beauty palette. This shade is just screaming to me, it is absolutely beautiful. And this is a corresponding shade in the Makeup Revolution palette. I think it is absolutely stunning. I don't know whether to use my finger or a brush with this though because I've heard a lot of people say like with the Huda Beauty palette that it's not as pigmented if you just use a brush. So what I'll do is I think I'm going to use a brush first just to see how it is. So let's do the Makeup Revolution side. It's quite powdery, but then I think that is because it's a foiled eyeshadow. I'm just going to press this in here. Just kind of like an outer, eh, sorry, inner half of the lid. It's not coming across that well, I don't think. Let me try and use my finger. Yeah, it's much better with your finger. Ooh, I'm just going to blend that out. There's a lot of fallout with that colour, so that is the only thing. You definitely don't need to put your foundation on before this because you'd have a lot of cleanup to do. 24K definitely feels a lot more softer when I'm swatching it. Like, it's very powdery on the Makeup Revolution one. Like, can you see how much powder are on those two just now? But the um, Huda Beauty one, and I've just swatched it, it still looks good. Like, I think they're probably pressed a little bit firmer. But let us try this one. Oh my god. <gasps> that one is so much more pigmented. I cannot believe that. That is very foiled. I've never had an eyeshadow that looked like that before. I'm so sad that this is not my palette. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to blend this as well. It's definitely not as pigmented in the form of like the foiliness. It's a little bit more powdery, but it is still very beautiful. I really like it still. I think Makeup Revolution have really did a good job with this palette. Okay, I think I am just going to leave it at that at the moment because I'm quite liking the way that that's turned out. It looks kind of autumnal, like the red on the outer and then like the yellowy gold. I'm just going to do like the rest of my face and things off camera and then I'm going to come back and we'll do the lower lash line. Um, and yeah, I think then I'll give you my final okay, thoughts. Now that I have finished off the rest of my face, let's go in and do the lower lash line. I'm not really sure what colour I want to take because I really like the pink and stuff in the eyes. Mm, I think... I kind of want to put an orange in just to like see how it goes because there's this colour here in the Makeup Revolution palette and I think that that goes with the shade Henna, this one here in the um, Huda Beauty one. So why don't we just try that? I know that I've got like pink and yellow and gold anyway but why don't we just shove another colour in the mix? Let's do it. I'm just going to take a little fluffy brush and let's do the Makeup Revolution side first. So that's the henna shade in the Huda Beauty palette and the corresponding one from the Makeup Revolution one. This is really pigmented. Now try in henna. Really similar colours. By the way, my eyes are a little bloodshot. I'm not sure why that's happened, but whilst I was away doing my makeup, I also was also away to work. <laughs> so I did my makeup and then I went away to work. And now I'm back from work and I'm refilming the rest of the video. So, I'm not sure if it's maybe something at work that's affecting my eye. But yeah, please just ignore that. God, I'm looking a little bit like a clown now. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara and also change this lippy because I've realised it doesn't really go. This is the colour Eklund and it's the matte lip kit by Makeup Revolution. I'm going to change it though because it doesn't really go with the makeup. And yeah, and then I'll be back. Does this lip go? Does it go? I'm pretty sure this goes. Just added a little freedom lip butter on top, like a peachy one. Do I look like a clown? I always have the fear of looking like a clown. Do you guys get me? And yeah, this is it done. What do you guys think of the finished look? So yeah, that is the finished look using both of the palettes. What did you guys think about these palettes? Do you think they're dupes or do you not? Let me know your opinions down below. Personally, I think that these are very, very good dupes of each other. Of course, they don't look the same. This is the um, kind of classic chocolate bar palette that Makeup Revolution I Heart Makeup kind of does. It doesn't look the same as this and it doesn't have all the same colours in it. But the main colours, I think it, it kills it. It basically kills it. All these uh, foiled colours along the top and the key transition shades that people have been using and that they love, like the pinks and the oranges and the reds, Makeup Revolution has absolutely killed it by bringing out this palette. I cannot believe how affordable and cheap this is. 
um, compared to how expensive this one is. Yeah, I can see the differences in the pigmentation between these palettes. Perhaps Huda Beauty's is a little bit more pigmented. The foil shades are a little bit pressed better so that they're not kind of so flaky. But I'm really glad that there's a more affordable option because I, I definitely think they're dupes of each other. I am very over the moon that I bought this palette. And I'm really actually glad that my friend had this one so that I could do the video and else I wouldn't be able to share it with you guys. Um, I've not seen it here on YouTube yet so hopefully I am bringing it to you first. You know, you never know. Like, I could be, I could be making history right now with this palette. I'm going to leave a link to this down below in the description box if you'd want to buy it. It's just so pretty. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and you want to see more of these dupe videos and I'll just make sure that I keep them coming whenever I find a new dupe. Um, and yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you subscribe, I shall see you next time with another video which will be on Sunday. Oh, and follow me on all my social medias too. I post loads on like Snapchat and Insta and stuff. So yeah, they're all going to be down below. So yeah, see you next time. Bye!